Hello there, and welcome to Five Figures. So this is some stuff that I picked up last week. Pretty excited about. Gonna start off with my discounts from GameStop. Picked up a Beast Morphers Blue Ranger. Um, actually a pretty big fan of the Beast Morpher show. As far as Power Ranger series go, I found it not incredibly painful and kind of fun to watch. Normally I just watch Sentai. Don't have a lot of love for Power Rangers, and that's why I was glad to get this guy on clearance because I didn't love him enough to not, like, I didn't want to pay re full retail. So picking him up on sale for 13 I thought was definitely a win. And I was very happy with that. Next, I picked up Bailey here. This is just a basic Bailey from, I think, last year. And it's just a red, uh, red costume variant. Not a lot of difference. But uh, she will look much better when I put her with my... Uh, Eddie Guerrero themed Sasha Banks. She wears like red pants and her Eddie Guerrero like red outfit. So I mean that'll that'll make them look more tag teamy. I've uh, been waiting on this figure for a while and finally I just saw it at a Walgreens and I'm like gosh Walgreens charges more for these than Walmart but you know that's probably why it's still there. So I picked up that Bailey. Had to pay like 13 or 14 dollars which is too much for a, a basic but what are you gonna do? I finally just decided it was time to have one, so. Um, next up, yep, I figured that would happen. Uh, next up, I picked up uh, Springer here. Springer was very prominently featured in the animated Transformers movie, and I've never had one, never really cared, wasn't that into the character, but uh, they have, like, a Burks store here. It's kind of like... Uh, I don't know what you'd call it. One of them discount type stores where they sell kind of older toys, but he was there. He was 12 bucks. We had a coupon. Uh, my wife basically talked me into getting him. She's like, well, may as well get him. We have like a 15% coupon off here. So uh, picked him up for a little of nothing. Uh, Transformers Siege. I don't have any other Siege figures. I don't really care about the Siege. I kind of, I kind of petered out on the Transformer line of Titans Return, but I didn't have, um, didn't have Springer, so yeah, definitely had to get him, and I will never transform him, because I never transform my Transformers. That is just like a strange gimmick that I just don't care about, I guess. It is what it is. Um, next up, at uh, the same store, same time, same place, um, Burks, they had a whole bunch of Jurassic Park Amber Collection uh, action figures, mostly just blue. And I was like, well, I have the regular Velociraptor, but you know what, if you, if you need, I, I, I love these because they scale so well with Marvel Legends. And if you need a Velociraptor uh, for your Runaways team, for your Nico Minoru figures, um, obviously, obviously this scales well and looks great. Runaways had a, a pet Velociraptor for some reason. Uh, the comic was good. I really didn't care for the series, but if you can pick one of these guys up for 20 bucks, that's definitely doable. Got a nice flexy uh, bendy wire and a rubber tail, plus it like hinges. I really like these things. I'm very impressed with it. And so I was not gonna leave it, not for, not for that price. And then last up, I, I passed on this the first time I saw it in Walmart and then felt like a complete idiot because it's Gigan. It's one of my favorite of all the Godzilla monsters, all of the Kaiju. This is an updated version. You can see this almost looks, you know, kind of like alien type uh, art. I'm trying to think of the artist that did that. It's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, don't comment. I know it. Relax. Uh, but uh, this is just a 5 POA. Just rotation at the arms that go up and down. The legs that just kick out and don't really do anything at all. He's kind of pre-posed to stand. And then the tail like rotates right, right there. And this is after he's had all of his cybernetic enhancements. Uh, in one of the earlier God film, Godzilla films, he got like shredded and they cut his hands off and he lost part of his tail. And I, I don't know, he had like holes all over him or some shit. And they patched him all up and made him a giant like cyborg uh, monster as if he wasn't a vicious enough bastard before. Uh, he has all these cybernetic enhancements now that make him even more of a vicious bloody jackass. And I'm one of my absolute favorite monsters. And this is why, you know, this was 12 bucks at Walmart. I, if you see one of these, just get it. Uh, they're flipping fantastic. His head doesn't really do anything 
but it does kind of have a wiggle, but I don't count that as articulation because I don't think it's supposed to move. But uh, yeah, this this figure has has made me happier, uh, gotten more uh, posing time, more camera time uh, than than Blue here, who is twenty bucks, than uh, Blue Ranger here, who is the same price but originally booked for more. Um, it's just amazing what you can do. You don't have to bit to get like super crazy technical in your designs as long as you have just a damn good figure. And I think that's what sometimes simplicity works. And that's what Geigen reminded me of. And I really like it. And I just wanted to share it. And that is the five figures I picked up last week. Um, I'm going to get on to the five figures I picked up this week. Is It's been a pretty banner week. It's been crazy. Anyway, that's my story. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.